Hello everybody and welcome back to season one of the Pokemon Truck Series. Today we're here at Chicagoland Speedway for the running of the NASCAR Heat 2 225. It's going to be a fun weekend here at Chicagoland. All three series will be named after NASCAR Heat 2. I have a lot of videos up on my Peach with London Racing channel. You should check them out. But today we're here at Chicagoland to kick off our weekend at this track. The NASCAR Heat 2 weekend I like to call it. So here goes nothing. Chase Marks in the 92 truck will be your pole setter today. And Steven Walker is on the front row as well. Let's look at the cup guys competing here today. The first one is Christian Parker in the number 9. Then there's Rich Roy in the 14. The 20 car will have Matthew M. Dev. And the 71 car will have O'Neill Balvin. So a lot of big names here in this field. And we're about to take you trackside right now. But before we do that. Here's our winner, J.R. McGregor, who won on the last lap pass last time in Michigan. He'll start in the rear of the field, so we'll see if he can come to the game here today. So you can hear my voice. So here we go. We're gonna get we're gonna get the green flag here in the NASCAR E2 225. Crazy lap. Huge crash with the 29 truck. What happened to him? Who spun him out? Let's see what happened. Oh, look at that. The 52 stork freezing. Contact. And then the 99 turned as well with the 66 and the 6. And a lot of other cars wrecked out. Spinning and wrecking and spinning and wrecking. And uh, that didn't stop there. As you can see, somewhere around here, right here, Mark Macron is as though made contact with 24. Wow, big hit there. 24 and 98 spin. And that brought out another, that brought out, that uh, was after the caution came out, so. Really weird to see them spinning after the caution, but I don't know what was going th on through their minds. Rich Roy, by the way, took the lead of the caution flag. cars 
guys that was involved in that in the wreck. Orocha is out. And uh, we had some pit stops. We had pit stops under caution. Let's see who took him. Looks like Cassie Smart. Let's see which leaders took pit stops. And there you see the leaders, the top drivers pitted. Cassie Smart stays out, but she's a lap down. She's just trying to get her lap back. And uh, everybody else, it looks like they're going to come down as well. So Marco Smith might be a lap down as well. So no, not a factor here. So let's see this race off pit row. Let's see who's going to win. Who's going to beat him. Who's going to, which truck's going to go out on top. See who's out on top. It looks like it's going to ooh, 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 contact. But Francis Hayes out first on pit road. Over Josh Lee Van Cole Francis and Rose Rich Roy out fourth on pit road. All surprising. Wow, oh, the top three might have had a might have had strategy involved. What happened here was that Stephen Walker got into the aid of Colin Francis right here. They collided. A little trouble for the two. While the four was trying to get on a pit of the seven car. That's Chip McDowell. He was held up too on pit road. Other than that, everybody else went away and got through cleanly. But the four car, some little damage he has to repair. A tough break for him. The eight car it seems that it doesn't, and the eight car might have lost some precious spots after that incident. Oh wait, no, never mind. But Francis Hayes comes out first off pit road. He'll lead us back to the green. Just eight laps to go here in Chicago, and Francis Hayes in front. And there you see the five cars that are out of the race. And it looks like Francis will stay third, after, even after making contact with Stephen Walker. Walker is in the back, obviously. Let's see if Francis Hayes can hold on this time. Last time he was in front, he wasn't able to hold the lead in Michigan, but now we'll see if he can do it in Chicagoland as the green flag waves. Francis is 
He's on the apron. Saves it. A close call, but it, it's gonna cost him the win. Joe Jefferson in, in second. Coming into the game. Oh, they're still getting real bunched up. Three wide. Still bunched up in the back. Coming to the white flag with one to go. Oh man, still tight. Lap traffic ahead. Here we go. Oh man, John Hunt gets by, but the gears of the line are crashing in the back of the final lap. 13 is around. Here we go to the, to the line. McPherson and Hunt coming to the end. And out of nowhere trying to get the win to the line. John Hunt trying to stay alive. Here we go. Drag race to the line. It's going to be McPherson, I think, has won this race. Morgan McPherson wins on a close finish over John Hunt. A crazy last lap in the 88 wins. Wow. Morgan McPherson on the final lap came out of nowhere to take the win. Lap traffic helped out a little bit on the 88. I had no idea where that 88 came from. But look at this. This was the last lap. They approaching lap traffic. He really drove that real hard right here. Jefferson was held up by lap traffic. And McPherson took advantage of the 17 going high. And McPherson <laughs> for the win with the 17 final lap of the race and you saw in the very last lap the 13 of Josh B fan crashed out because of lap traffic right here he made contact with that nine on that final lap wow that's got to be heartbreaking for the 13 getting spun out by a lapped car everybody was jumbled up and then Morgan McPherson Followed it out for the race win. And Morgan took the win away on the final turn in a close finish. Right here. That's the final margin. I don't know if you can see it. Right here. The 88 collects the victory over the 17 in the truck race today. Wow. Unbelievable finish. Morgan McPherson, out of nowhere, takes the win at Chicagoland in the NASCAR Heat 225 in a very frantic finish to the line. Wow. It was a drag race to the end. And the 88 was able to beat, him, beat out the 17 for that victory. Here's the results from Chicagoland. Caution did come out on the last lap, though, but still, we got a good finish. And uh, that's it here from the truck race. We'll see you guys at the X Series race at this track. As more.